is Beth. Beth's coming in today for evaluations of these red spots on her legs. Um, these are very common. These are called cherry angiomas. Um, sometimes they're called capital and Campbell de Morgan spot stories or senile angiomas. Now, senile angiomas is actually a misnomer. It's not just found in people who are older. You can find them in any age group. We do find as you get older that you get a little bit more of them. Um, they're not entirely sure why they develop. Um, there's been some links to increased estrogen states. Um, so depending on your weight, if it's fluctuating, they've seen some increases because there's more peripheral estrogen. Same thing in pregnant women. They see there's a little bit more of them, but it's not being consistent enough that we can actually blame it on that. Um, and why they form specifically? There's some theories that say it might be from angiogenesis, so from existing capillaries they branch out, or vasculogenesis that they just spontaneously form, but again there we're not entirely sure why they form. Um, the take home message with these is they're completely benign, but some patient, patients find them quite bothersome, and Beth's actually had a whole bunch of them, so we've actually taken them off at various um, intervals, and we're just gonna take some off of, the, of her lower leg. Now these ones here are pretty basic. You'll see a larger one here, when they aggregate together, they're called a polypoid angioma, and that's what that is right there. That'll be a little bit more challenging to clear. Um, treatment options for them, you can lose, there's some high um, end lasers you can use that work very well, can get a little bit pricey. You can also use just pure, pure liquid nitrogen, and then you can also use a, an electrical source or cautery that'll actually do it as well. I tend to use a combination of the liquid nitrogen and cautery. So what I'll do is I'll liquid nitrogen from a freezing perspective, as opposed to having to use topicals, and then I'll just use the hyphricator to sort of ablate the vessel and you'll see it disappear. So if you're fortunate enough to have liquid nitrogen gun, uh, Beth's just gonna sting just a little bit. You see this will blanch. Just like that, and I apologize for the sound. When the hyphricator goes on, it affects the sound. And you'll see that it'll blanch just like that. Now that scab will fall off, and then that will heal in nicely. So I'll do another one here. And again, for resin student, the hyphricator, I go anywhere between seven and nine, should work well for you. And this is a special tip for the hyphricator, it's very fine. Just works a bit better. And if you don't think you can get it all in one pass, then I just pause and I just go back and use liquid nitrogen again. Beth, you're okay? Mm -hmm. So just hear this again. And I just want to do it so the margins are all gone. You don't see any redness throughout there. And that'll essentially just cauterize the end capillary. Now this one, the polypoid one here will be more challenging. And so you're seeing how these, these scabs will fall off and then it should be just normal skin underneath it. You'll see with a smaller one. Just a very little bit like that. So it's pretty simple, it works very well and she shouldn't have any scarring of this whatsoever. She'll be completely clear when she comes back. And that's it.